Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Gemini. How are you guys this week, Gemini? Oops, I see a card in here. I thought I got them all out. I cleaned everything up. I missed one. Right, Gemini, singles in your love life. What is it you need to know? Clarity, please, for single Gemini. There we go. Everyone's getting this, this card. Okay, this and the moon have been really popular this week. So pulled in two different directions, this way or that way. Okay, yeah. So I do see six of pentacles. So I feel there's someone here. You may be moving away from somebody here. Okay, but kind of feeling a little pulled in two different directions because it has to do with someone who's not reciprocating. So you may be thinking of moving in the other direction. If it's not yourself, it's another person. So it has to be, it's an energy of strength and confidence here. See, trying to be strong. Okay, some of you are trying to be strong. You're trying to not reach out to somebody. <laughs> That's what I feel. Yeah, if it's not you, it's the other person. Yeah, see so someone trying to control their emotions. They're determined to have success, to be strong, to not reach out, to not talk to someone. Yeah, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So this is an energy of just being patient. You know, someone here is trying to be patient, hoping something pays off. So it looks like someone's kind of hoping you'll be the one to reach out first. <laughs> Uh, Gemini. Yeah, so I do see someone younger, little Aries, Leo, Sag. Now, this is someone who's kind of focused on themselves, here for a good time, not a long time. So this could be, like I say, where you're looking at this person. I feel it's someone who's not really invested, okay? So this is someone who's often not patient either. So that's in the heart of the reading. So it could be just someone who's younger or just immature or just, you know, someone who's not really ready for a relationship, <laughs> could be a Leo. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so it's an energy I feel. It has to do with this opportunity. Okay, some kind of opportunity. See an Aries energy as well. So this has to do with a leap of faith. Could be a Scorpio with that energy as well. But it has to do so with someone leaving something behind and taking another opportunity. Yeah, you have an Emperor here. I see some truth. Looks like there's some kind of truth and success. Some kind of victory. Yeah, look at that. Uh, and it could be just where you go, aha. <laughs> okay, so it's also an energy of someone who's, I feel, trying to control their emotions. They want to reach out, but they're trying to be strong. I feel they want you to reach out. Because I actually feel like you've got some kind of choice. Someone here is a little bit younger. Oh, they could be so much fun, very charming, enthusiastic, you know, really funny, you know, regular comedian. <laughs> You see, I, I see the energy, but I feel like you're leaving it behind. I actually feel this is probably yourself uh, going towards this emperor energy or the emperor is taking a leap of faith towards you. They could be, you know, have somebody here that they're trying to be strong and not to reach out. This could be somebody who's just younger, not ready for a relationship, or they're just immature. You know, it's not, it's it's an energy of someone who probably won't stick around long because they're, they're not ready for much. They're just having a good time. So let's have a look at that chariot. Yeah, so there's an energy of someone kind of healing, clearing out their head, you know, taking a break. So you could be on a break from someone or it's a person who's just clearing things up, clearing things out, no longer talking, so you're trying to be strong. Yeah, see, there's other opportunities. This is somebody here who's definitely taken their passion energy elsewhere, but I see multiple opportunities. This is someone who's got somebody reaching out. They're trying not to not to reply. They're not giving to this person. They're staying strong. See, it's an energy of someone who's strong and confident who knows what they want see moving away to avoid a disaster that's what someone's trying to do taking the lessons they've learned they're leaving it behind yeah let's have a look at the seven of pentacles <laughs> yeah i kind of seen this coming <laughs> Yeah, there it is. See, waiting patiently. See, this energy of patience paying off, a reason to celebrate. But you see, there's this person. This is somebody possibly younger, you know, where this person has this choice. But I feel this is someone who knows. This is someone who's not ready for a commitment, okay? They're, they're not marriage material. They're not ready. <laughs> 
Let's have a look at the Page of Wands. This person could be reaching out trying to tempt them. They're in a hurry. You know, they're coming in fast and fiery. They're focused on passion. They want to get this going. But someone's, you know, basically, I'm out of here. Just get me out of here. Yeah, so we have a we have a King of Cups energy. See, this is someone here. You've got someone here who's, you know, thinking about family, the future, you know, thinking about their, you know, their happiness, you know, possibly being married. It's a person who wants love, someone who's mature. So we have someone who's mature and someone who's not ready. Fun as they may be. So I do see, like, this is somebody who comes on really strong, too. You see? So I feel this person's trying really hard to control their emotions. They're, they're moving away. They're moving away from this. Okay? But this person, someone who I, it pro they probably keep reaching out, hoping that yeah see there's someone in the social circle see online dating social media you know they this is someone who reaches out you know they want something they're they're all about the passion they're a lot focused on themselves they probably talk a lot and talk about themselves a lot too <laughs> maybe they even rant and rave a little bit you know they get on the soapbox as fun as they can be like i say they likely have other people too so yeah I, I feel like you're just, you know, it, it's like you've got this energy and I, I feel like this is the person. If you have a choice or this person has a choice, it looks to me like they're the one with the choice. See? Yeah. They're in your social circle now. There's the birth of something new. There's the empress. So this is somebody who wants somebody who's mature, someone who's balanced. You see? And we have an emperor. So this is definitely someone who's not fitting in the equation here for this person. Yeah, see a soulmate connection. They could friend zone this person. It could be a friend. There could be, you know, this could be maybe a little competition with someone you know who's, you know, after the same person coming on really strong, really fast. Okay, they move quickly. They, they're they definitely in a hurry. But someone's hurrying away. They're taking their passion energy elsewhere. I love this. Yeah, this person here. It's, I got to I got to tell you it's kind of funny because they're really determined to move on here. They're taking the lessons with them. See, they're avoiding a disaster. Yeah. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit like a fool, you know. So somebody who took a risk, connected with somebody, okay? And and I feel like like I say there's other people involved. There's an energy of 3. It's this person's involved with other people. They probably gossip and talk a lot too. So someone's trying to avoid that. <laughs> See, someone, it's definitely a temptation. Okay, they could be fairly fun, young and charming. But yeah, see, this is something that feels off though. This is someone pulling back. You know, they maybe feel a little bit like a fool. Um, but it really has to do with, you know, taking a risk. They're leaving this behind. You see, they want a connection. They want a soulmate connection. Wow. So there's the emperor. There they are. They know what they want. That's the truth. See, they're going, aha. They see the truth. They're going to tell you the truth, too. <laughs> they're going to tell you. I got a feeling you're going to laugh about this. I don't know why, because I feel it looks kind of funny. Like, like this person, it's like, like I say, taking a little bit of a break, but they're clearing something out. Okay, they're trying to take control of something. I do see they possibly have cancer in their chart. You see? They're trying to clear things up, clear things out. They want to move away from this person. Yeah, see, slow and steady wins the race. Somebody's going slower. This person is in a big panic here. Yeah, they're, oh yeah, they're clearing it out. There it is. Four of swords. That must be from the other. Is that a four? Oh, it's a three of swords. Yeah, third party situation. Yeah, there we go. So it has to do with someone clearing things up here. Now, this could be someone who got involved in the third party. It's hard to say, but I feel it just has, it's that energy of um, uh, the fear of what's going to happen. See, this is somebody who doesn't want to talk to this person, but they keep, they're, they're coming in, in this energy. They come on really strong. Yeah. I mean, this could be yourself, too, with these energies where you have to make a choice. You may have someone younger, someone older. It could be yourself. Oops. Let's have a look at the emperor. Let's have a look at the emperor. What is this emperor up to? There we go. Yeah. End of a cycle. 
Yeah, this is someone here, see, shining a light, see? This is somebody who took a risk. They were curious about someone, and now they're trying to avoid this person. Okay, they're trying to avoid them. <laughs> Literally, if this person's driving around, they see that person, they're gone, full steam ahead. This is so funny. But yeah, I, I see this energy of uh, this person here is someone here who's, yeah, doesn't always tell the truth. They gossip. They have a lot, you know, like that's what I feel. But I also see this person, this emperor, is someone who's logical, choosing their words wisely. I, I feel like they're just, like they're seeing it. You know, they're seeing the truth. Yeah. And they're going to tell you the truth as well. So they actually feel like a fool. So this could be somebody who's a friend who wants more from you. They could be looking at you a little different here. Okay. Yeah. This is, you know, there's something definitely very different going on here. Sort of a unique situation. But this is someone, you know, being patient, tempering their passions, their emotions. You know, just kind of, you know, it's an energy of finding their inner balance. It's a head over heart decision as well. But there's something off with this other person. Yeah. You might have a date with this person and they just tell you about this. <clears throat> Yeah, see there, this is someone choosing their battle, something that's worth fighting for. It's not worth, they're not going after that person. So truth, success, victory, win or lose, this person's moving on, moving on from someone. But that person, I do feel they gossip and talk a lot. Very gossipy, they involve other people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a crush. They're kind of childish, childlike. <laughs> or they they even could be a, somebody who has children, but they're just very immature, okay? So like I say, it was probably just a crush. They were tempted by this person. This person may have been to have a sweet side too. They may have given them little gifts, did nice things, but they talk about it, okay? They talk about everything. They tell everybody. <laughs> it's like being forced to be involved in a situation you don't want to be. Yeah, this person's definitely breaking free. Yeah, this person's got a bit of an ego. They're looking for attention. They love any attention they get. If someone else gives them, this is what this person's looking at here. This person will eventually focus their attention on another person. They just love attention. So yeah, see, this is some, this person's releasing them, but no longer serves. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, this is a, just a situation that's out of reach, you know. Uh, this is somebody who's very popular, very social. You know, they love attention. That's, the, I feel, the big thing about them. They actually could be a Leo. Okay? They love, but they're definitely young and immature, not ready. So I, I can't see much else here that's going on. Tell me about the soulmate connection, this, um, this choice. There we go. Yeah, so there's this opportunity, Ace of Cups. So this person wants to offer you this cup. They want to move away from this person. They are going to tell you the truth, okay? They're going to just tell you, okay? They're choosing their battles. They're thinking things through. They're going to be careful kind of how they say it. But honestly, I feel some of this is this person up here. That page, someone who doesn't always tell the truth, okay? So somebody who keeps things to themselves. But I do think this person's kind of shining a light and, you know, going, aha, yeah, <laughs> I'm out of here. They're, they're literally running away, but they're coming towards you. So, you know, see, there it is. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is so sweet because what I feel is, is this is someone who feels like you're everything they want. They don't want this other person. In fact, they're willingly just releasing them. It's kind of like, go away now, okay? Yeah, I, I feel, you know, with the Queen of Cups, I mean, you could be the King or Queen of Cups here, but what I feel with this person is, is they see that Empress energy, they see uh, that you're open, okay, uh, you're in your integrity, you're kind and you're compassionate, I actually feel like you're going to be understanding about this, I really do, because um, I'm not so sure it's involving you, um, maybe it does, I don't know, but they're offering you a cup, they're offering you this cup, see? They want they're hoping that you'll take this cup, this opportunity. I think you're I think you're open to it. Yeah, I do. I really do. I feel like you're just, you know, yeah, see, you're looking at all the possibilities, fantasizing. There's some kind of choice. You may be looking at that. I mean, the Empress is nobody's option. So I feel like you're gonna think about that. So there we go. I just contradicted myself. 
So there you go right there. Yeah, you're nobody's option. But I feel like you're looking at it with kindness and compassion. I feel like there's some kind of understanding. I mean, been there, done that. Maybe you've been through the same thing. Okay. So yeah. But you are going to speak your truth. You're going to be wise. This could be you cutting someone else out too. You could be the one with this choice, to be honest. It could go either way here. So but this is your inner wisdom, your inner knowing. See, speaking your truth. See, it's your in, you're in your integrity. This person likes you, okay? They see you, you know your worth, you know your value. This person doesn't, so they'll take any attention they can get. But it's also an energy of someone who's, you know, trying to somebody's ego, right? So it's, I feel this, whoever this person is, it's, it's all about this person, okay? The heart of the reading, this uh, here for a good time, not a long time. Uh, immature, you know, childish. <laughs> yeah, it's all about them. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. <laughs> this person's a little bit drained. I actually feel they're a little emotionally drained. Okay, so there's definitely a reject and they're rejecting. They're trying to really, I feel, really avoid this person. So, and if it's not them, it's yourself. Okay, making this choice. Um, yeah, Queen of Pentacles is now coming out. So... Yeah, I, I feel like you're just grounding yourself. You're being practical and sensible. You're being wise, you know. I actually feel, you know, you're kind of looking at the possibilities with this person. You may have other options as well. Like I say, you may have some other options because we know you're, you're the Queen of Pentacles, the um, uh, Empress is nobody's option, okay? So I, I feel like you're just keeping your options open. You might tell this person that too. I mean, maybe it's yourself, like I say. <laughs> you might just speak the truth, right? Stay in your integrity and just speak the truth. But I, I do feel like it's this other person for a lot of you. Tell me about this. Whoops. Of course, that had to go flying. I want to focus more. I'm going to use a smaller deck. These ones are so slippery. It's hard. That's why I try. I can't shuffle over top the cards because when something falls, it messes everything up. King of Cups. What is this person's intentions? Yeah, so they're looking at all the possibilities. You're about to make a choice, so they do have other options. So this is an energy of options, but they're choosing you. They're offering you this cup. I think you're going to take it. Okay, because I actually feel like you're looking on this with kindness and compassion. Because I feel like you've been there, done that. It's almost like you've experienced the same thing. But this person is definitely making a choice. They've been kind of procrastinating, telling you the truth. They're probably a little afraid you might reject them. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, been there, done that. See, <laughs> they're looking at that. They want to communicate. See, yeah. <clears throat> They want to talk. Yeah, but see, it's releasing. See, this is someone releasing this. I think this person's afraid you're going to reject them, okay, if they tell you the truth. But I feel like uh, this truth, uh, I mean, it's possible this is someone who took a risk with somebody. It could have happened any time. They could have a child. There could be children involved. Okay, but it does look like this person's willingly releasing, letting go of any baggage, okay, letting go of this fear of rejection. They're going to just let it go. This person sees your worth and value, definitely. They see you. They're everything that you could ever, you know, what, whatever they want. Maybe they feel like you're out of their league or, you know, but that person under there is actually very popular. Uh, they socialize. They have a lot of people around them. And they get a lot of attention. But I, I just feel like they're, I mean, maybe they're just younger, but I just feel, yeah, see, you're looking at this, you're letting it go. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't know if this has, if it has something to do with you and they involved you in a third party, you might just let go of this person. It's possible you might, some of you might say thanks, but no thanks. It's possible. Others of you, I feel like you've been there, you've been through something like this, been there, done that, and you're going to be understanding. So I don't feel like you're dating this person. They want to. See, they want to connect, that soulmate connection. Maybe you just want to be friends, okay? Or maybe this person's actually just friends with this person. I don't know, okay? But I feel that connection here. You and this person, they're offering you a cup. So this opportunity, yeah, you're going to look at it. You're going to look at the details of the situation and kind of ground yourself, <laughs> 
see how you feel. Will this be successful? Yeah. Tell me about that temperance. You're tempering your passions, tempering your emotions. See, you're just, just kind of being calm, I feel, about this. You're just dealing with this in a calm way. Just kind of waiting. Yeah. Just kind of waiting here. Maybe thinking it's too late. You know, maybe it's time to look elsewhere. You might have been waiting for this person and this happened, but I really feel it has to do with just being patient. Something you're waiting for here. We know the Empress is patient. We know the Queen of Pentacles is. Oh, the Queen of Cups can be. But the Queen of Cups will often sacrifice and give, you see, and give to somebody. Yeah. But I'm not really feeling like... I think you're just looking at the possibilities of this, how this is going to play out. Okay, I actually feel like you are keeping your options open. You may make yourself clear. You're just going to keep them open. Maybe you just want to, you might friend zone this person. It's possible. Just friends. <laughs> All right, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. Why is it here? There we go. Yeah, King of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely choices here. Now this could be somebody leveling up. You, If you have a choice and you're waiting, I feel like you're just keeping your options open here, Gemini. I do. I feel like there's someone here you're kind of visualizing in your future, fantasizing. Okay, so I do see uh, this younger person. Now this could be the same person leveling up, but I'm not seeing it. It looks like another person. Now this is, you know... Aries, Leo, Sag, somebody who's very, or Scorpio, someone who's pretty confident. So it looks like an energy of thinking things through. Someone choosing their words, choosing something that's worth fighting for, going after. So it looks like you've got a few people here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you've got a couple of crushes here. <laughs> this could be someone who has children, a crush. This is someone, again, who will do sweet things, do nice things for you. Yeah, that's an emperor. Someone's leveling up. Now, this, it could be this person leveling up. Maybe that's what you're waiting for, is this person to level up, to figure out what they want. Now, it could be someone who just comes in this way, and this is the way it progresses. But it doesn't have to be the same person, because it does look like you have a lot of options here. So you're nobody's option, though. So And because somebody else has an options, you're just keeping yours open, maybe, too. I feel like you're going to friend zone this other person. I do. I, I feel the King of Cups is going to get friend zoned, at least for now. Okay? Friends first. See what happens. Yeah, see, I just said that. Friends first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, I, I feel like, you know, it's like, I feel like you like this person because there's definitely some feelings some kindness compassion you know but I, I just feel like yeah I don't know it, it could be a bit of a turn off or something here I don't know but they're telling you the truth you are speaking the truth too so like I say it could be somebody maybe it's yourself that has these and I definitely see some of you with these options but yeah it's, but, you know, when I see the Queen of Pentacles, it, it always, because I know the Queen of Pentacles is someone who looks into the future and visualizes, because it's someone who's always planning and preparing ahead, getting ready. So it's like you're waiting. You're waiting for something, just keeping your options open, but you're planning other, you have other plans or you're just open, okay? But you're planning and preparing ahead. You're being wise, See, you're, you're, you're just being really wise here. I feel like you're just being patient. You're just patiently waiting. And I do see a head and heart decision here, that you're making a head and heart decision. Balancing head and heart. Just being patient. If something feels off with someone, it doesn't feel right. See, it has to do, you're not going to take a risk or leap with someone if it feels off. But I, I'm seeing an emperor here, so I don't know if it's this person leveling up. It doesn't, it's not showing me that they are. I usually get some kind of sign that shows me. I actually feel this is another person. It looks like you got some crushes here. Now, there could be people who have children too, but it's often an emperor, someone who will buy you a little gift to show you they like you. Very passionate, very creative. See, somebody, it's something worth fighting for. See, somebody here, there's someone here who chooses their words wisely. They keep secrets. They don't always tell the truth. And then somebody here who chooses their battles. And they think things through. They don't just leap into it. So it has to do with that, I feel, just being wise, the inner wisdom here. 
Tell me about this emperor. Yeah, your friend's owning someone definitely here. <laughs> yeah, this emperor wants to build. They want to build. Yeah, they want this to work. They want to put in the effort, and I feel they will. So, I mean, this could be something that's happening here. I mean, you could have somebody here. This could be just somebody that you work with or this other person does. I still feel for some of you this this person is this emperor more so than this uh, page. Um, I don't know why. I just I can't seem to connect that page to this uh, king and emperor. Let's see if we can figure out the exact sign. Because these are energy reads. So let's have a look at the emperor. Who is this person? Who are they to you? Who is this person? Yeah. Somebody at a distance. So it's someone at a distance. Uh, they may travel for work, so they're at a distance. And it's somebody who's moved away from another. They're avoiding a disaster with somebody here, or they travel for work. So, yeah. It's also someone who maybe have not taken enough time to get to know you. They didn't put any effort. Maybe it's somebody that you moved away from. But I feel like you're distancing yourself from people. You're just, I feel like you're just making a head and heart decision. I feel like you're just being patiently waiting, focusing on your money, your house, your home, keeping your options open, kind of fantasizing, visualizing where you see yourself. Yeah, I, I feel like you just got options around you. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Whoops. Yeah, see, so taking a leap of faith. You're leaving something behind. You're off on a new path. It's about taking a risk. So it's a calculated risk when the when the um, Queen of Pentacles is there. See, yeah, I don't know. You might actually you might just leave all these people behind here and just keep your options open. Quite honestly, because it looks like you're just patiently waiting for somebody to come in. Maybe it's a you know maybe you're waiting for this person. I don't know. Maybe they're with somebody else who's younger and you're waiting for it to end. Beats me. It's kind of confusing, but there you are, yeah? Getting out, socializing, you know, taking a leap of faith. I see options, dating. I see positive news coming in, just socializing. You know, you're keeping them open. You're not <laughs> You're not waiting around. If while you're waiting and somebody else comes in, you might go for it. But I feel like you're just socializing and having a good time. Now, this could be someone who lives in another community, and that could be you're taking a leap of faith. Because um, sometimes that Six of Swords isn't just avoiding a disaster. It's also taking lessons learned. Okay? And it's also an energy of two people growing closer, getting to know each other. See, it's a bond deepening kind of energy because I, I sort of see that. So it looks like you are making a decision. Where was that... Where the heck is that? Oh, I thought the lovers was here, but yeah, you're you're letting go of things that no longer serve. I think your friend's owning someone. Situations out of reach. You're raising the bar, so it makes me feel like you got some boundaries. But yeah, no, there's that person. The King of Wands is right there. So it looks like you've got some choices and options here. I feel like you're just going to, like I say, keep those options open. And while you're waiting, something's going to come in. Could very well be this person. Aries, Leo, Sag. Does look like they're in, it's connected to that emperor, though. I don't know if this is someone you worked with or... No, they want to build. I feel they want to build, you know. This is someone who's very determined, often very creative, often theatrical. Okay. I mean, they could be someone who uh, maybe works in the public. Maybe they're a musician, things like that. Someone who gets a lot of attention. Tell me about this King of Wands. Wow, we've got a lot of people here. A lot going on. Yeah, you're speaking your truth. You want to know the truth. <laughs> and you're speaking it too. You're going to cut someone out. I actually feel like you're just keeping your options open. I feel like you're, hey, I'm just keeping my option open. <laughs> I'm socializing. I'm having a good time. Yeah. See, there it is. See, you're on your own path here. You've got choices though. Okay. I feel like you're just, you may not be ready to make a choice. Some of you here. 
Wow, Gemini, this is crazy energy, but I feel like you're just being wise here. Okay, you're kind of thinking things through. So I feel there's something that isn't worth fighting for. I feel like part of this is yourself thinking things through. Okay, before you go down this path. Because it's like you've got this choice. This a life, looks like a life path decision. So, you know, I feel like you're just kind of on the fence. So that's where I feel this energy. But if you do have a king of wands here or an emperor energy, um, that's the person who's going to come towards you. They want to build, but they could be. Like I say, they may travel for work. That's usually what this tells me, you see. Or they're just at a distance. You could be, like I say, you know, sometimes the Queen of Cups puts a lot of effort into something. You may be deciding to move away to avoid a disaster if somebody isn't. So someone here isn't putting a lot of effort in and somebody else wants to build. But I feel with that Queen of Cups was here, it's like, you know, you're putting in this effort, you're building, you see, you're doing all the work. See, you don't want someone where you have to do all the work. I, I feel a lot of this has to do with level of maturity. Somebody here is emotionally mature, available. You see, somebody wants a, a family, a house, a home, a reason to celebrate. So it looks like you've got, you know, a couple of invitations here. So eh, just keep them open. You never know. I think you're just going to be on the fence until you make it. You'll make a decision when you're ready, obviously. But that Queen of Pentacles tells me you're just being very patient here. Okay. I feel like you're just, some of you are focused more on your money than your love life right now too. But yet I see this energy up here. Now this could be another person, but I, I feel like this is yourself here. Looking on the past with kindness, compassion. See, it's a friend. It's a friend zone. See, you're the, it's like you're there for this person you give. And maybe it was hopes that this person would you know, come towards you. Maybe they chose another person, but you have other options because I, I feel this person wants to offer you this cup because this is the king of cups. You know, it's like you want this. So, but I feel like, it's, you know, just grounding yourself and looking at the details with this uh, page of pentacles. Okay. That's where I feel like you're at, just looking at it carefully. And I don't think you're going to make a decision because it has to do whether this is uh, successful or whether it's what you want or whether it's long term because uh, this is what it with that six of wands there it's like you're just sort of breaking free uh, from this situation yeah but i think it's this other person who's got to break free from this younger person because i i feel they're just like i say they're out of here you know they're just <laughs> they're, they're so they're kind of licking their wounds here too to be honest <laughs> so anyway there you are on the fence you have a life path choice someone's getting cut out for sure you will make a decision when you're ready once you think things through so take care bye for now